month marks the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, but some Melbourne students already had their sights set on Mars. The Monash team has taken part in an international competition to design a rover to assist astronauts on the red planet. And Alexa Stace tells us there were some moments of high drama. This is the work of the world's most brilliant university minds. We're in Hanksville, Utah, at the Mars Desert Research Station, where robots rule the research on space exploration. And this is the University Rover Challenge. It's the first time this Boston team has competed. And to come out here and compete is beyond a dream for all of us. But they're up against our own, an Australian team from Monash University. But how often do you get the opportunity to build a Mars rover with a group of mates? The Aussies are one of 34 teams making the cut as finalists from countries all over the world. The challenge is to complete missions using a robot they've built from scratch, all trying to prove that theirs could accompany astronauts on Mars. So you come here and it's like this kind of circus show of different robots coming through. Do you assemble it here or we've, back in Australia? We've assembled it here. We actually had to pack up each, every piece, disassemble it and put it into our suitcases. Wow. And then yeah. have you had to make alterations and things as you've gone? Yeah. We've pretty much torn apart our hotel. Not, yeah. not destructively, I saw you but making a workshop. Night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had to take it apart to ship it in boxes. Making the journey here from places like Poland, Canada, Istanbul, India and Egypt are students studying mechanical engineering, computer science and software. The Boston team was happy with their efforts, but the Australians didn't enjoy nearly as smooth a ride. Unfortunately, what's happened is at the end here, at the end effector, where the gripper attaches on, that has shattered completely off. Soon, with a part replaced and a pass from judges on the way in, 48.55. The Aussies and their robot are ready. Their first task involves navigating the Mars-like terrain to find a rock based on GPS coordinates. If you think of the robot as the physical body, these are the brains. The end effector desub on the crispy chip just to make sure. Team members operate the robot's every move, albeit with computer game consoles and cameras capturing the path ahead. Next, they search for a water bottle and deliver it to an astronaut. And despite their setbacks, for the Aussie team, it was mission accomplished. When you look at where we are, which is pretty much the middle of nowhere in southern Utah, you wonder why hundreds of students from all over the world would trade in uni life to come here and build robots. But for space exploration enthusiasts, this is actually as good as it gets because everything about this research station, the barren desert, the soil composition, makes it just about the closest thing on Earth to planet Mars. It gives the outback a run for its money, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just. <laughs> and an adventure these Aussies will never forget. In Utah, Alexis Daesh, Nine News. Amazing vision.